going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on the channel this should be the final video before the fifa 20 web app drops and what we're covering in today's video is going to be team of the week one which is dropping the day after this video goes up for fifa 20's first ever team of the week guys so we're going to be using Futhead's team of the week predictions along with referencing foot Wiz's team of the week predictions and also talking about what to trade with and also how the upgrades are going to work in fifa 20 in comparison to fifa 19 let's hop right into it guys i will be live tomorrow on fifa uh, 20s web app on Twitch. The link is down in the description, guys. If you do go and follow my Twitch, uh, there is an option to subscribe for half off right now until uh, I believe it's got like one week left. So you guys can get extra trading guides, extra Discord perks for the FIFA 21st month, which is really, really nice for all of you guys. Let's just go ahead and hop right into it. This is what the team is going to look like in the starting 11. And there's a couple players that FootWiz uses that Foothead doesn't actually use. And we're going to get into that. But starting it off, up top, we've got Hyung Min Son. That's obviously going to be one of the cards that all the people that are spending a ton of FIFA points are going for. Obviously, one of the cards that is going to be very usable in FIFA Ultimate Team Weekend League. And a very expensive card, to say the least. But what happens to his gold card? Well, with that being said, the gold card goes out of packs on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. I don't expect the web app to actually go up until after that, which means that the gold card is only going to be acquired by people who got the game early, which isn't very many people. There's definitely less people who have FIFA 20 uh, this year than last year. Um, however, we did see that little bit of like a leak in Spain a couple weeks ago. I, I genuinely don't know what that was about because it kind of stopped happening after that first day. So either EA found a way to keep those players off the market or that was just a, a leak from the EA headquarters um, where they were playing the game and accidentally uploading it to the Xbox clips. Either way, there's not very many people who have the game, which means that there's not going to be very many, if any, Young Min Sun gold cards on the market, which means you can't really invest in it. So I don't think that's going to be a go-to at all. And it's honestly out of price range anyways for a lot of us who are just going to be trading right away. It's going to be pretty difficult to get up to the coins of, of an inform or a, a regular Young Min Sun in just the first few hours, even if you're a very good trader. Ibrahimovic is up next, and that is going to be a card that doesn't link very well. He only has the links really to Forsberg, maybe um, maybe some other players like Alessandrini in the MLS, Wayne Rooney. Ultimately, not really going to be a very usable card because of his links. But if you take a look at the stats, he does have five star skills, 90 shooting, 80 physicality, and 80 passing, which is actually quite a good card. Next up, we've got Dries Mertens, and this is just to finish off a very good attack. It's 88 rated, and then he's also got 89 pace, 91 dribbling, and 85 shooting. He obviously links up with Insigne on a strong link, who's also a very good striker or center forward from Napoli. At left mid, we've got a central player. That is Frankie de Jong, already getting his first inform. And how do these upgrades work? And I think, based on what we're seeing so far, it's going to be the exact same as FIFA 19. So if we take a look here at one of the leaks from FIFA 20, and I understand that it's very blurry, you can take a look at the Zaha card that you get for the Season 1, I guess you could call it a Battle Pass, I'm not sure, but you get the Zaha as a reward. And if you take a look, actually, at Zaha's... Um, if you take a look actually at Zaha's rating uh, in FIFA 20, Zaha is a um, 83 rated card. So with that being said, his first upgrade goes to 85, which means that it follows the exact same as FIFA 19. Now it doesn't mean it will follow that on every single card, and I'm sure they might mix it up a little bit, maybe for the lower rateds like bronzes and silvers, but as we see it right now, it should be the same. Thomas Delaney would go from an 82 to an 84. Ibrahimovic would go from an 85 to an 86. Moreno, uh, I'm not sure what his base card is, but 
it would either be 81 or 82 uh, based on the upgrade. So if Moreno is an 81 or an 82, and he is an 81, that makes sense. It makes sense that he'd go to an 84. That's exactly how it did in FIFA 20. So Tagliafico, uh, an upgrade to an 84, which would mean that he is an 82 rated card. Or an 81, but I believe he's 82. Koscielny, 81 or 82 rated card. Gunter, that means he's less than a 78 rated card. So Gunter would be 78 or below. Christian Gunter would be 75, so he goes up to 81 rated. And then we got Kaylor Navas, which means he'd be an 87 going up to an 88. All right, so let's finish off the defense. We've kind of already gone over everything. We've got Pellegrini here, which would mean 82 rated. That that means I believe he'd be a 70, is it 79 rated cards? Um, go up to 82. It is 79. So yeah, exactly the same. At least that's what Foothead is saying. Tagliafico at left back. I think his 82 rated card is going to be a gold mine if you can get one of the gold cards uh, right away on the web app. I'm sure there will be a couple, but there won't be many. So I don't know how effective it's going to be, but look for it. Koscielny is going to be an 84 rated inform, already getting an inform as he moved to the League One. And then we've got Gunter and Navas moving down to the bench now. And we're looking at some more of the lower rated cards that could really be good investments for us, guys. Think about Premier League Player of the Month. Think about Bundesliga Player of the Month. That's going to happen pretty shortly after the release of the full game. And actually, when you if you have Standard Edition, the full game release, it's going to happen at about the exact same time as the Premier League Player of the Month. If you can pick up some of these informs from the first team of the week while they're cheap a couple days into the first team of the week, picking up a Tammy Abraham, guys, is going to be a gold mine. That card might only be a little bit above discard price, but then it's going to go way up. I remember uh, Benedict Havidez. He was an 84 rated card, similar to this Tagliafico where he was a left back, but he was also German, so that obviously helped him with the uh, Marco Royce Player of the Month German requirement, but he went from about 14,000 coins and he, he went all the way up to about 60,000 coins. So if you can get in on some of these Team of the Week 1 cards, they're all going to make you profit, but depending on the card, it could make you a lot of profit. I mean, take a look at the Gunter, guys. Gunter is a brilliant card to pick up because he is also a left wing back similar to have it as of last year, and he's also in the German Bundesliga here, uh, which means that he can also link up to anybody who wins player of the month whether that be Jaden Sancho or Robert Lewandowski this month it's going to probably require an inform or something along the lines from Bundesliga which would make Gunter go up in price a ton so yeah looking at the bench we've got another Bundesliga player from Mines. it's an 80 rated goalkeeper so that's another option that I believe will probably be discard price Looking at the rest of these guys, I wouldn't pick up players like Bundu unless they're absolutely discarded and you've got coins to spare. I don't think it's a good idea, though. There's definitely better things to do with your coins this early in the game than pick up a player like Bundu. There's no really good reason to pick them up unless you absolutely don't know what to do with your coins and it's discard and you can't lose. So if you don't know what you got to do with your coins, you got like 40k and you just you just don't know what to do or you have five minutes left on on the game and you got to go do something maybe pick up a, a couple bundus because there's no risk and the next time you log on if they don't go up you don't lose any coins that's like the only situation you pick up a player like him or pick up a player like uh serva winski even though he's a right back um tony here at least does have the english links and i'm not sure who's going to win player the, actually i do know who's going to win player of the month it's going to be timu puki timu puki is the winner of player of the month august on september 27th that's when timu puki is going to be player of the month guys so remember that looking at the uh bench we've got moya i like that decent a decent investment because he's like one of the only 83 rated cards in the team um, so I think that with his links to Spanish uh, center backs, I think that's a decent idea to pick up as an investment. Um, we've got Sepatelli. Uh, I mean, he's a center back. I, I don't know if that's a good investment, but it's better than, than Bundu and, and Servinsky. Herrett, left mid, again, Bundesliga. That is something that is probably going to be required for Bundesliga Player of the Month. So picking those up early, and there's not going to be that that many of them left because it's Team of the Week 1. There's not a lot of people picking them up for their teams yet. 
um, because the first weekend league isn't until like a week after the the full game releases. So that's a, like literally team of the week three. Not too many people are buying their teams with team of the weeks until then. Malin is a really notable card because he had he had five goals and he already has a pretty decent card on his base card. Now he gets the upgrade to 81 rated and he's got 92 pace. 80 shooting, 75 physicality, and 4-star skills. That's a card that's definitely usable, so I'd maybe pick up a Malin a, as an investment because of uh, like Weekend League hype. I think people will use him um, because you can link him with um, Burge Win. You can link him with uh, Dumfries if you put him in the midfield and kind of make a triangle like that on the right side, which would which would be green links all around, a hyperlink there to, to Dumfries. And it's not like he can't play at center attacking mid or center mid. He does only have 67 pace, but or passing, but this early in the game, I think that is still a very, very good card. Benedetto, he's uh, 82 rated, um, maybe just an average team of the week investment, nothing special, nothing notable in terms of uh, SBCs that could require him, but 82 rated, he's Argentinian, so he gets links, and then he's also League One, so he gets links. So just kind of an average team of the week investment, I'm sure it'll work out if you go with that. Let's go ahead and look over at Futwiz's team of the week predictions and see how they kind of stray away from Futhead. There's some other cards in here that weren't uh, mentioned. You've got players like Kareem Benzema. Um, you've got players like Jan Sommer. Uh, you've got Nacho Monreal in here, who actually is at Real Sociedad now. A couple of the same guys like Koscielny and Tagliafico, Delaney, De Jong. Uh, but then you've also got uh, Sadio Mane in this Team of the Week prediction, which is very possible they give Sadio Mane a Team of the Week. I think they might stack this Team of the Week because of the fact that it's the first Team of the Week and they want a lot of money. You know, EA wants you to buy FIFA points to pack the first Team of the Week. So Mane might make it even, even though he he's kind of like you know, on the border 50-50. Maybe EA will, will put him in. You got Youngman Son in this one as well. Ibrahimovic is also in this one. Sepatelli. Uh, you've also got uh, Emiliano Buendia. That's a very possible one. He had, um, I believe it was two assists, or maybe he had a goal and an assist for Norwich over top of Manchester City. Um, so Puki had a goal and an assist. Buendia had a goal and an assist. I think Buendia probably has it over Puki because of uh, his position. So I think Buendia might uh, might get in there. Um, you've got Barisha uh, from Kosovo. You've got Baland. You've got Tony as well in this one. Uh, Herrett, Pellegrini, Gunter. Uh, and then you've got a different goalkeeper here, Kiko Casilla from Leeds. Uh, rather than the goalkeeper 83 rated, which was uh, Moya, um, so just a different, a different uh, Spanish goalkeeper there as the backup. Tammy Abraham's getting in the team of the week, no matter what. That's that's a lock. He had a he had a hat trick against, I believe it was Wolves. Uh, Benedetto's in there, Malin's in there. So a lot of similarities in here. Um, a lot of similarities, but also a couple changes. So just keep a note of the players that might get in and might not get in. Either way, guys, hopefully this video has helped you familiarize uh, yourself with what could be in the Team of the Weeks um, and then know what to do with their gold cards and know what to do with their Team of the Week cards when it comes down to it. You definitely want to be investing in some of these Team of the Week cards like uh, like, like maybe Mail and maybe uh, Gunter. I really like that Gunter card. I think that's going to be maybe one of my focuses. But uh, guys, again, follow my Twitch down below. I'll be live tomorrow with the web app. Make sure you're following. And uh, also, thank you guys for 115,000 subscribers here on YouTube. If you're not subbed yet, make sure to hit that sub button for me. It would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.